Good afternoon, it's Dr. Guile again, Animal Hospital Maple Orchard in West Bloomfield, Michigan. Today we're going to teach you about the ACL on a dog known as the cranial cruciate ligament and then the TPLO procedure that is the most common and number one procedure in repairing it. Let's learn about some basic anatomy first. You take a look at this. This is the back leg of a dog. It's hip, it's knee, it's on this angle. And it's important for you to understand because it's different than you and me and the way that we walk and, and, and move. That angle matters a lot. Let's focus in on the stifle or on the knee, okay? If we zoom in on this, right? This is the normal anatomy of the dog knee. It's very similar to the, per to the human. You have a kneecap, you have a femur, tibia, your ACL and your, and your, and your uh, your PCL and, and human sits inside the knee, crisscrossing and stabilizing the knee. There's some ligaments on the outside that are also stabilizing in the meniscus. Works between the two bones. Okay. Just as an example, when your dog tears its ACL, that's the ligament that tears. Okay. So let's go back to this drawing. Today we're talking about the TPLO, like you and I were talking about just a minute ago. If we draw this zoomed in, okay, you have a femur and a tibia, okay, this kneecap that sits out here, and all these muscles that come down and attach. The ACL sits here. If you have torn in, it's no longer intact. It makes this very unstable. Your dog is non weight bearing on its rear leg. There's a very good chance that this might be what's wrong. Radiographs help us to diagnose and rule out other problems that it can be. Let's talk about how we repair it. If you're going to have this TPLO procedure done, TPLO, what does that stand for? Tibia, stat bone, plateau, that's the top of this. Leveling osteotomy is what's done in the surgery. Osteotomy means cutting the bone, and leveling is just like what we're talking about. So before and after we do this surgery, this dog is living at this angle, okay? And every individual that we see has a different angle. We measure this before surgery because it dictates how we repair this, how much we level, okay? It's a major surgery. We're going to cut the bone. We're gonna pin it back together so that therefore this which is very unstable before surgery, becomes very, very stable after surgery. Just as an example, let's go ahead and do our procedure. Usually your dog has an incision up the medial aspect or the middle of its leg. We approach the joint, we identify that ligament, we are checking the meniscus inside the joint, and those are really the first steps. We're in that joint, making sure there's nothing else wrong. This, of course, is boot is after your primary veterinarian or someone or one of our veterinarians has looked at your x-ray, evaluated your patient, and have concluded, yes, this is the right procedure for you. Once we're to that point, which is true of most all these other surgeries, we're then into something specific, like the TPLO. This is when this bone is cut on this like rotational ag uh, angle. This is then rotated it usually sits something like this, okay? So this angle up here changes. And then there's a large plate and some screws that go into this tibia, and it sits like that, okay? Why does that help? Why does that fix a dog's ACL? Well, it's biomechanics, but the physics of it are as the dog bears weight down its leg, it no longer needs its ACL. It'll bear weight down at this new angle and put weight straight down its tibia. A couple of really important things for you to know. Number one, it's very successful. Okay, there's probably a 5% complication rate or less, all right? Number two, it is extremely durable. 
probably the number one reason that it's still the best surgery that we can do in your dog. Most dogs are very non-compliant. In this surgery, they don't have to be as compliant. You don't have to be as perfect as an owner to prevent your dog, who's not made of glass, to break this surgery. It's very durable. Okay. And I guess the third is, historically, it's number one. There's a couple of research papers that have proven that it does a little bit better. Better than the TTA, better than the extra capsular. The CBLO is a new procedure that's a little bit under review, usually done with the young dog. But this remains to be the number one way to have your dog's ACL fixed. I'm gonna look at some x-rays, I'm gonna look at some before and after surgery patients. Take a look at the next video and we'll teach you a little bit more.